Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformer Studio Series 67 Constructicon Skipjack and I I like this figure okay, um, I don't like that I had to get it, uh, but I'll get into that in, in just a moment. Released in August of 2020, he is brand new and hitting store shelves right now. As of the time of this recording, I found mine at Target. He is a Voyager figure and retails for approximately $30. Real quick, here's the packaging for Skipjack. And, you know, he comes in the window box showing you the um, the actual artwork from the movie. A little background there of the uh, pyramids in the back of the box, which, of course, you can take out and actually make a little display piece for him. Um, just like all the other Constructicons have. Uh, since we're in the back, we can take a look at the back of the packaging here. You got your product shots showing you the figure in both the robot and the vehicle mode and then on the side you've got skipjack one more time and then you've got devastator on the side there so yeah skipjack's okay um it's it's an exact straight repaint of rampage there's absolutely nothing different between skipjack and rampage here other than they took whatever was maroon on rampage and they made it yellow on skipjack and and this kind of bothers me um not just the repaint part, but the, the fact that I had to get this figure twice. Um, the Constructicons, some of them I like. Um, quite frankly, this is one of my least favorite of all of the uh, movie Constructicons. I, I'm, I'm not just, just not a real big fan of this specific design here. Um, I do like the Bulldozer, but the robot's kind of wacky. Um, I do, however, love the Devastator design. I absolutely adore the Revenge of the Fallen Devastator. So, of course, I had to get all of these because I wanted to, you know, build Devastator. Now, maybe this is my fault. Maybe I was not in the know. I don't know. But had I known ahead of time that this figure was going to be coming out in the proper uh, constru or Devastator leg yellow colors, I would not have purchased Rampage. As you know, Rampage was the first Constructicon that was released. So he was, you know, I, I was excited because I'd get to build Devastator. So we got it right away. And then later they said, well, they, yeah, we're going to we're going to put him out in yellow and the actual proper color that he should be when he's in leg mode. Um, again, maybe I was not in the know. Maybe I missed that somehow. Maybe it's my fault. I don't know. But had I known that, I would have skipped on Rampage. I would have just waited and purchased Skipjack because, again, I do want him in yellow. I do want him in the leg. But now I really don't have anything to do with this guy because, again, I'm not a fan of this this design for this robot. Um, so it's not really even something I want to display in robot mode. So now I have, you know, an extra figure that I really didn't want. So there's that. But anyway, comparing them, you can see, again, they are absolutely identical. It's a complete straight repaint. No remolds or retools of any kind, even the heads are the exact same. Nothing changed with this figure. Here in vehicle mode, he is approximately six inches long and about three and a half inches at the top of the cab here. Uh, he does he does roll. He's got these little rolling wheels down here on the bottom and he's got a little roller here on the front. So he does roll okay. And he's a pretty good looking bulldozer. And that's pretty much about it for uh, the vehicle mode. Uh, now I have uh, reviewed Rampage before, so I'm not going to go through this transformation step by step. I'm just going to go through it real quick. I am going to put a link up here for Rampage if you want to see that um, that review and that uh, detailed transformation and whatnot. I'll go ahead and put that up there, but we're just going to go ahead and move on with the transformation for this guy.
and there we have Skipjack in robot mode. And again, he is the exact same as Rampage was. So we'll bring him in so you can see them together. Uh, approximately six and a half inches tall at the top of the shoulders here. Of course, the head, you can do whatever you want with it. So the height may differ depending on where you put your head. But up here at the top of the shoulders, he's about six and a half inches. And again, you can see absolute exact duplicates or clones or whatever you want to call them. Um, just repaint uh one is maroon one is yellow and that's really all there is for <laughs> the difference on these guys articulation his neck can move up and down here at the base and then at the back of the neck here he can move uh, i guess that would be the spine right so the spine the neck at the back of the spine can move up and down the neck at the base can move side to side and then at the front here of the uh, neck and the jaw it's a ball joint so you can move it up and down and turn it and twist it and kind of angle it up so you got that. The shoulders or the arms rather can move all the way uh, forward and backwards and all the way around. They can move in and out. They can turn at whatever, I guess, the shoulder would be there. No real elbow uh, to speak of. And then, of course, the fingers can move here at uh, this joint here, right there. And then these fingers can move at the base and then at this joint up here as well for the very tips of them. Uh, that's really kind of about it. Uh, nothing really at the, I guess you can, I don't know if that's a knee bend or an ankle bend or what the heck that is, but there's that. And of course you got the little display piece there so you can actually stand them up. So there you go. There is uh, Skipjack in robot mode. To transform Skipjack back into the leg mode for Devastator, we are going to pretty much transform him all the way back to uh, vehicle mode. And then we're going to do some basic modifications. Again, I've already done this on the video for Rampage if you want to look at the step-by-step -step there. And there you have the leg mode or the foot mode for Devastator. Now, one modification that I do to this is I find a way to incorporate this so that I can A, hide this, and also uh, it makes helps make the leg a little steadier. And also, again, one uh, thing that I showed off with the Rampage mode. So go ahead and do that now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push the head all the way up. And then I'm going to turn these claws upwards like this. And I'm going to take and open these up. And at this point, we can go ahead and I'm just going to make sure that all of these are out of the way and up as high as possible. And then go ahead and close the feet back up again. So now with the head up above these claws, this is actually going to give me room to hide this piece and kind of store it exactly where it was for vehicle mode except that the tip is going to be facing 
what would be the front of the vehicle rather than the back of the vehicle. So it's not sticking out of uh, Devastator's toe. So that'll, um, that'll fit there because the head's out of the way now. And then this will clip. Back here, let's clip these back into place again. These can be clipped back in. And the reason that I have the claws facing up down instead of uh, down is so that it helps hide the head. So there you go. And these are not gonna get in the way of the articulation for Devastator or the movement or anything like that. So it really works really, really well. And now we can bring in Devastator and combine them. And of course, it's gonna be exactly, again, like with Rampage, we're gonna take this tab here and slot it into that spot there. And exactly like Rampage, he is extremely tight. So that's gonna take a little bit of doing. And there is Skipjack now combined with Devastator. And I'm just happy to have my Devastator now officially complete in, in all the right colors and, and, and all of that. I'm Again, I am a fan of this Devastator design. Some of these Constructicons I like, some of them I can do without. And again, Skipjack Rampage is one of those designs that I'm, I'm just not a big, super huge fan of. Um, I have them because I need him to complete this Devastator, but um, yeah. So I'm, again, happy to have him. I wish I would have known that he was coming along uh, long before I ever bought Rampage. I would have skipped out on Rampage otherwise. So uh, that about does it for Transformer Studio Series 67 Constructicon Skipjack. What did you think of this figure? Let me know, leave me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got that donate button up there if you wanna hit on it, I certainly would appreciate it. Share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time.